I'll just start by asking, what was the inspiration for this movie? What made you want to write a film about this woman who has to defend this missile interceptor station? Well, I, I wanted to write a film that could be made for a certain budget, so they'd let me direct it. That was the very first thing. And it was originally supposed to be in this sort of isolated CIA listening post in Alaska. And this CIA agent in this out of the way post was gonna hear about these missiles being launched. And, and then I discovered interceptor missiles and SBX-1 and Fort Greeley. And that was much more interesting. And then I decided, well, the military is a very masculine world. I'll make the hero a, a female captain who's had her career derailed. And on the very worst day of her life, she's gonna to have to save the country and, and save the, the institution that, that you know, made her life miserable. Uh, it just struck me as, it struck me as a diehard kind of redemption tale. Um, one in which, you know, hero and villain are mirror images of each other and it, it sort of worked rather well. That's amazing. That actually ties into my next question, which was what kind of made you want to write about Colin specifically? Did you have kind of a backstory planned for her? Um, is Was she someone that you had in mind from the get-go? Uh, no, so I find the military, it's a very masculine world. And I read very widely, you know, researching my novels and researching scripts that I write. And I, I felt that the hero in this story needed to be physically, you know, smaller than all of these men, all these physically strong men. And so having a accomplished captain uh, who was a woman as the lead immediately made her smaller not as physically strong so she'd be an underdog i had done some research for a different project about sexual harassment in the military and it's truly awful and i thought what if my lead character had gone had been at the peak of her career and had been wronged and had been you know drummed out of her dream job uh, and then is coming back with her tail between her legs to this post in the middle of the ocean, which, as one character says, nothing ever happens out there. And you, as you meet her when she arrives, you can see she's clenching her teeth. She comes to her room. It's this Spartan, awful little room. And you just think her life is at a low. And the bounty hunt that is described in, in the movie, these things, unfortunately, really happen. And I, I wasn't averse to making people aware of that, but it also made me, it made her as a character that much more resilient uh, and, and somebody we could cheer for. So right from the very first draft of the script, it was JJ and the sexual harassment stuff was all in there right from the very get go. Well, as the writer and director of the film, you obviously have a lot of creative control. Um, what was it? And yeah, well, what was it kind of like bringing this thing that, you know, you thought up in your head and then externalizing it? Was there anything where you were like, oh, this cannot change. This needs to be in the film. Yeah, um, you know, you it is um, it's always helpful as a director to be the writer. You have it clearly in your head and what everybody wants on set in particular as the director is they want answers. And because I wrote it, I had the images all in my head. You know, what does what's JJ's uniform look like? What do two missiles intercepting, you know, in low Earth orbit look like? I had that in my mind. I, I, you can lead the witness as a director. I drew 770 storyboards for this movie. So people need to know what's in your head. Uh, the other thing I did is I built a little model of the set. So I built this three-dimensional model, basically with Star Wars figures that had the, the outer corridors, the connecting tunnel and the command center. And I brought that. Uh, to Australia. I live in Los Angeles. I took it to Australia where we filmed and I had the crew, you know, the camera crew, the stunt team looking at this physical model. And so how do you retain creative control? You let people inside your head. You, you draw the storyboards. You, you build a model of the set. Once they see what you want, they're on board and away you go. Hey, well, that is amazing. Thank you so much for your time today. I cannot wait till everybody gets to see the film. Thanks. And I love Screen Rant. <laughs>